In a previous Photoshop quick tip, I showed you how to use a layer mask to separate sections of images for targeted editing and adjustment. However, since layer masks are bitmap based images, they do come with limitations. For instance, when it comes to resolution constraints. Luckily, there are many ways to circumvent these limitations in Photoshop. A similar tool that avoids the bitmap based limitations is the work path. Work paths can easily be created, edited, and used to set up vector masks, create selections, or create clipping paths for use with page layout or vector editing applications. To create a work path, start by selecting a shape tool or a pen tool. Set the tool's specific options, and then, before drawing anything, make sure to check the Paths button in the Options bar. The shape tools will give you great control over simple geometric shapes, while the pen tool is much more effective when dealing with abstract shapes. As you draw your path, you can switch between tools easily, and you can use the path area options to dictate how overlapping parts of your path are handled. There are options to add the new component to the existing path, subtract it from the path, keep only the parts that overlap, or exclude the overlapping regions from the path merge. Modifier keys can be used to set path area options on the fly as well. Shift will switch the mode to add to path, while the Alt or Option key will enable Subtract From Path. Once your path has been created, it appears in the Paths panel in Photoshop. Work paths are modified and edited in exactly the same way as vector shapes and paths. Anchor points divide the path into segments that can either be straight or curved lines, as controlled by their direction line handles. Work paths allow you to accomplish several tasks similar to layer masks, but because they are vector based, the lines are smoother and give you a more adaptive control. They can be used to make targeted color and tonal adjustments, create vector masks for later use, provide smooth outlines for precise selection borders, or if you're done with them, simply thrown away.